Hi, in this video I would like to show you how to install Microsoft SQL Server 2014 which will be suitable for uh, storing data for PLCs uh, running on Codesys uh, version 3 and uh, PLCs from Siemens running on uh, Step 7 and Tia Portal. So, firstly, we will choose uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2014 Express which is uh, for free for Microsoft here, here we will select uh, the language press download now here we will choose distribution for our operating system in my case it's uh, Windows 7 64 bits so I will choose this one in English which has uh, almost 200 megabytes press next and wait until it will be downloaded but I already download the file before so I can run it but before I will do all other stuff I need to create a local user here I will uh, extract the files in this directory and firstly I have to create the user for uh, uh, this user will be used for running uh, running the SQL Server database as a service it's better to create a user for it so here I will use I will choose local users I made a mistake so local users users create new user I will name it SQL user same password doesn't matter password never expires so I, I just create the new user that's all I will have to wait until the installation will be extracted So here I will press New SQL Server Standalone Installation and Features. It will check my computer and other other stuff which Microsoft does. scanning my computer if it's prepared oh it skipped some parts okay it will be faster but still I have to wait accept the terms Here I will choose that I need database engine engine services. Here I can change uh, the instance directory if you want to put it on another drive. There is it's possible here. So I will press next. Here I have to figure, I have to write the name of the new instance of database. As you can see, I have 
few few databases installed already here so I will choose the name will be PLC SQL DB <coughs> next Here we have to define our our um, our user, which will be used for starting the database. So I will write PLC user check name. Okay, so advanced show me our users. Mine is. SQL user ok write the password which is the same as, but you can write it doesn't matter okay. choose automatic startup everything ok so next <coughs> firstly we will choose Windows authentication mode which means that this user is able to connect as administrator here are the paths on hard drive where are stored the data databases user instances and so on so I will press next now it will install the server so we have to wait until it will be completed okay so our secret server is uh, successfully installed and uh, installation is completed so I can press close another close and here if I press start or all programs I can see <coughs> that there is a new folder 2014 because I have also other SQL servers such as 2008, 2012, 2014 so if you will go to configuration manager <coughs> I can I, if I will choose server services I can see all my SQL servers uh, whether they are running or not so here is my SQL server PLC SQLDB I can see the state it's running startup is automatic and logon as SQL user so this is service which runs uh, background <coughs> and uh, that's it another uh, important thing is that I have to configure a port on which will PLC communicates so I will uh, I will select SQL server network configuration after protocols for PLC SQL DB which is my database Wait a sec, I'm looking some for something. Yes. So I will choose TCP IP, I will press enabled, which means <coughs> which means that I, I just enable TCP IP communication for this SQL server. Here I can see the, the ports. And here I can see my IP address. So for <coughs> each particular IP address which I'm using, I can 
put uh, we can put uh, the port if I will I, I can define uh, every single IP address uh, different TCP port but I will use it like this standard TCP port is one one four three three but uh, I will use let's say port four thousand four thousand press apply they will tell me that I have to restart the service to be able to have it <coughs> press ok go back and press restart so it will restart the, the Microsoft SQL Server service Now it starts the service. Hi, I'm back, and uh, now we will continue with managing with uh, Microsoft SQL uh, Management Studio, which I had to download because uh, because I have already installed. Uh, more database engines on my computer with different different uh, versions as you can see here from 2008 up to 2014 and the newest version is needed for this so I will log to database first thing we will create a, a new database which we will cost test db ok now we will create new login for our test user which will be called test plc we will choose SQL server authentication just type password ok we will map it to test db Okay, we will say that testdb is his and he is data writer and data reader, which means that he can read and write the database. Okay, now we, we will have to check if our database, if there is enabled to log in with SQL authentication, so I will choose properties of the server. We will look on security and here is ticked uh, that we can use SQL Server Authentication mode and also Windows Authentication so just press the OK, everything's fine and now we can uh, we can log out and log in and we will switch to SQL Authentication and we are locked to our database here we can create simple table name of column will be id type int value set it as primary key save we will call it double test int oh I'm not table owner so I cannot do it oh so now I can see that I can read and write but I cannot create table so permission works so for do this stuff I have to log out and log in as admin test db close close I will try it again Test 
test and now it works so if I refresh it I can see <coughs> table test open it file and here I can see that I have nothing I can also modify the table with design here for value also wind I can set ID as primary key control save ah ok so ah yeah the another stuff which is uh, very useful to do is here it tells me that uh, it's activate prevent saving changes that uh, recreate table which is not allowed but I would like to do that so I have to go to tools options uh, query where is it designs yeah prevent <coughs> saving changes that require recreation okay now I can set primary key press control save and made it I can fill the table so I will press edit top 200 rows All right. let's say ID 1 value 52 ID 2 value 189 everything seems okay and if I press select I can see the values if I log out from the database and log in as as user this one this DB I can all tables table test set I can read and if I will press edit I can also add in value and here if I update so in this video I showed you how to install Microsoft SQL Server Express how to set up firewall for this and how to create first database and how to create first table uh, with with SQL authentication user. So thanks for watching and in our next video I will show you how to uh, save data directly from PLC to this database without any other middleware. So thanks for watching. Bye!